Hello and welcome, John here. In this particular video, I simply want to demonstrate how you would troubleshoot a computer with a problem with the File Explorer. You would notice that if I open my File Explorer from my taskbar, the File Explorer simply indicates that it is working on something and it continues to be in this state without giving you access to any of the files that you may actually want to have access to. And if you proceed to click on anything, it would simply give you an indication that it is not responding. So the only thing you would actually be able to do in this case is to go ahead and just close it. All right. So once you do that, it simply crashes. However, if you open the file explorer from any other folder, for example, if I use this test folder over here, um, I would be able to have access to my desktop and check whatever files I have on my desktop. Notice that over there I don't even I don't even have any file, and then um, I can literally access any other folder from this end. All right, now let's look at how we could solve this particular problem so that we can have access to the file explorer once we click on it from the taskbar. All right, so one way I'm going to try and troubleshoot this particular error is by running the MS config which you can access by either right clicking on your Windows button and clicking on run or using the key combination Windows R. So from there, if we type MS config, which you already have over here and click OK. All right, we simply have the system configuration in this particular area. So what you do when you get to this uh, particular area is to click on the services tab and click on hide all Microsoft services so that you do not end up um, running or disabling any Microsoft features that may further harm your system. So after you've hidden all Microsoft services, you can go ahead and disable all. And this might simply be relating to any other program that might actually be causing any interference or uh, problems related to um, our Windows Explorer not working. So after that, I would simply click on apply and click on my start up so that I can access the task manager. All right. So after you have accessed your start up tab, you can simply check under the status uh, column of these services that are currently running. And if anything is enabled, you can simply right click on it and click on disable. So anything that you'd simply want to disable, you'd simply go ahead and disable in that manner all right so once you have done that you can go ahead and click on ok once you click ok you'll notice that your computer would request to restart and now we'll go ahead and click on restart and see if we have this particular problem solved all right after a reboot we just now need to test and see if we are able to access um explorer um just quickly try to see if that is going to work unfortunately this does not seem to respond so well it still does the same thing so we probably have to go ahead and troubleshoot again so i'll close it over here there it is all right since that has not been able to work and um, we have seen that we cannot actually access our file explorer from the taskbar we can still try to access the file explorer using any of these folders as I demonstrated earlier on. And from these folders, we can access the View tab. From the View tab, you can go and access the Options button. Click on Change Folder and, and, and Search Options. And in this pen, the Folder Options pen, we can now go and um, access the Quick Access in the Open File Explorer 2 and then you click the down arrow over there and click this pc these are simply default settings set according to windows 10 uh, default settings when accessing the file explorer and then from there we simply have to click and apply and click ok and then we can test and see if we can now access the file explorer there we go yes that does work that does work so you can see now you have all the local disks that you had and various other files that you simply need access to and everything else would work as desired so this is how you go about solving that problem related to how you can simply have access to your file explorer when it gives you that uh, error all right that's it
I hope this has been helpful.